Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthems of Denmark and the United States of America.
Prime Minister Schluter, Mrs. Schluter, trade. I look forward, Mr. Prime Minister, to discussing with you the need to strengthen and broaden the international trading system, perhaps through a new round of comprehensive trade negotiations. In the past century, many Danes immigrated here to look for the American dream. With their hard work and good citizenship, they not only made that dream real, they helped build a great nation as well and stand together. This fundamental truth is at the heart of the NATO alliance, in which Denmark has played an active role for nearly four decades. The collective deterrence of NATO has given Denmark and all of Europe 40 years of peace. We in the United States are proud to have played a role in preserving European peace, united in our efforts to achieve effective and verifiable arms reductions, we can make ours a safer planet. We can, must, and will have not just four decades of peace, but a sense and in solidarity. We have already reached out in the cause of a safer world on numerous occasions, and we will continue to do so. We have offered to reduce the number of intermediate range missiles in Europe to America. Mr. President, Mrs. Reagan have always been close and friendly. When Denmark, as early as in 1801, established diplomatic relations with the United States, we were among the very first countries to do so. Over the years, the dynamic creativity of the new nation tempted in our relationship in the second half of the 20th century. The presence of American troops in Europe is visible proof of the U.S. commitment to the Atlantic Alliance, which for almost four decades now has protected its members against war and secured their freedom. The solidarity of the Atlantic Alliance as also Secretary Gorbachev will lead to the beginning of a more constructive East-West relationship, benefiting the United States, the Soviet Union, the Alliance, and the world. We all have and unity is indeed, as you have said, destructionism. I am looking very much forward to our talks today, Mr. President, and to meet members of the American Thank you.